Hello, so we are going to continue our series of interviews with DFAS employees. Uh, today I am with Rhiannon. Um, would you like to introduce yourself to us, please? Yeah, I'm Rhiannon and I'm one of our care delivery managers, uh, currently overseeing uh, some of our home care customers and a portion of our supported housing. Um, so, I've done one of these already, so uh, I'm going to carry on the same type of question because it was uh, really interesting. So, how did you come into the care sector? How did you get into this role? Um, I was fed up with my old job mm -hmm. um, and I just had decided that I didn't want to serve one more Christmas dinner. And I sat at home on a Wednesday morning and applied for loads of jobs, had never thought about coming into care. Um, it was a real gamble, I suppose. Um, I applied on the Wednesday morning, I had my interview on the Wednesday afternoon and I handed my notice in for my old job on the Wednesday night um, and I started with CFAS about two and a half weeks later. And how many years ago was that? Six years six ago, years. six years ago this week, last week. Um, so in the six years, how, what is it about this job that you, what, what is it about this job that you really love doing? I never thought I'd enjoy it. When I had the interview, I thought it would just be a job until I found something else. Um, had never thought about going into care before. Um, I have got qualifications in hair and beauty. Um, care had never even crossed my mind, but um, I absolutely love it. And I found a passion for what I love doing. So what positions have you done in that six years? Because you started, you know, at, at, at the ground level, so to speak. I did. You worked I started your way as a support worker um, over in our Sudbury area. Um, I'd been doing that for about a year. Um, and I took, uh, I was approached by the company to apply for the team leader role. Um, I took on the post as team leader. I was doing that for about six months um, and then I went up to a senior team leader. Um, I did that for about another six months and I took deputy home care manager <coughs> um, for all of CFAS's home care customers across Ipswich, Felixstowe, Stone Market and Sudbury. So over the, the six years you've had a fair amount of opportunities to get different badges Yes. As, as we, we quite often joke around sometimes, we, we have lots of different badges. Um, so the company provides lots of opportunities. What other opportunities? Within those six years, what opportunities have you had for learning? Um, so I did my MVQ level two and then I completed my MVQ level three. Um, then CFAS branched into residential um, and we bought a residential home in Stowe Market. Um, and uh, when we took it over there was no manager in post so I went over there for three months um, to try and get it off the ground um, get it running uh, really enjoyed it um, but I much I enjoyed a lot more being out in the field um, traveling seeing lots of different customers in lots of different places and enabling people in their own homes what is the, about the job at the moment you enjoy the most the, the most the, the, the thing that you get the most satisfaction out of? at the moment so um, last February um, I took a bit of a leap and um, CFAS asked me to take on one of our supported housing in Claydon um, I'd never worked with learning disability before uh, I'd never worked with complex or challenging customers before um, and, and took that leap and absolutely loved it. Um, loved enabling them to do, to live an independent life. Um, and although we were going through COVID, um, it was really nice to be able to get meaningful activities in place um, and just to see people laugh and whether that is scratching their back on the sofa or taking them out for a walk or taking them to the zoo. Um, there was lots of different opportunities. Um, and I guess I've just stayed with uh, our learning disability department and the, the big biggest thing I get out of it is customer satisfaction. Yeah, I completely, I completely agree. Um, looking down the road, future aspirations, where do you see yourself? What where does it go? Where do you see CFAS going in the next? three, five years or so. What, what aspirations and things do you, do you have yourself? Um, so I'm currently completing my level five in health and social care. 
um, and I want to make a difference. Um, we are, I have just taken on um, some other projects within our supported housing, so I'm really looking forward to getting them um, as I want it, put my stamp on it, I suppose, um, and make sure that it's person centred and the customers get the best out of life that they can. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Going back to if you if, if we could rewind the clock back six years uh, and you had the chance to do anything differently, anything you would change? Anything else you'd have you know done differently, or, or do, you, do you think about? That I think I'd have started. Um, I'd have sort of dipped my hand into their disabilities a lot sooner. Um, it was something that absolutely scared the life out of me when they said, "You're going here," um, but I really enjoyed it, and it's like I said, it's not something that I'd ever thought about before. Um, I was used to um, more elderly people in their own homes um, that like a cockatiel and a biscuit. Um, so yeah, it, it's just completely different. But um, since I've been here, we looked at uh, long-term life goals for our customers in home care. Um, I know we took one gentleman out um, on a trike um, that his long-term goal was to get back on a motorbike, which unfortunately wasn't going to happen. Um, but the field care supervisor that covers the area had arranged it, um, and we all went to watch, and it was a great day. Yeah, we, we've managed some really, really kind of like great things over the last few years, and hopefully we'll do some more. So anyone that might watch this and stuff like that who's thinking about getting into care and stuff, what advice would you give someone who's wanting to get into the industry, uh, wanting to start their journey on care, what advice would you give someone? Take the leap and get into it. Um, do what you can if you're, you want a, a sense of satisfaction at the end of the day. Um, just going home and knowing that you've had a really good day with somebody, knowing, going home and knowing that you've made someone smile or that you've done something they wouldn't normally do. Like I took a customer to the zoo a couple of weeks ago um we went out for lunch and i did her nails in the afternoon and she absolutely loved it and it's it's not something that she'd do every week but it was a real treat for her and she had a smile on her face the whole time thank you very much Rihanna. thanks for uh, talking to us thank you